today is again just like any other day in new york is very gloomy i am feeling a little bit depressed a little ah. <laughs> you know i always feel depressed and that is highly concerning i have started reading this book Lord of rings and ruin which is the third book of the sarah j mass universe i did not know that i would be the one to fall for the hype but like i'm giggling from that book because it is the kind of level of silly i wish somebody talked to me this way <laughs> i just feel belonging and that is very comforting i think sarah j mass is really good at portraying emotions and making you feel certain ways i am really fascinated and every time when i catch myself feeling something based on reading i'm just reading words right i could be reading a textbook versus i'm reading a romance novel and somehow you feel bored when you read a textbook versus you feel giggly when you read a romance book i am so ready for summer there is duality of my feeling about summer thing number one i feel excited it's gonna be another hot girl summer i'm gonna wear my best outfits i'm gonna be confident i'm going to meet with friends i'm going to have time of my life i'm gonna enjoy this summer that i will remember when i'm 60 it's gonna be epic on the other hand the same points bring a lot of pressure what if i would get lazy what if i would not live up to my potential what if i would get depressed what if nobody wants to meet with me what if i would not yeah that pretty much sums it up right something else may happen like what if we get sick okay so that just got kind of dark that scares me for one side excitement and the other thing is anxiety because there is a potential and i need to live up to it and i'm worried that i wouldn't so excited about sharing my outfit look at this belt i got i think it's pretty cool one side of me wants every single piece of clothing when i'm about to spend money on it i immediately get the feeling that money is in a very short supply i'm about to run out i get panic and i think i don't really need that i think i have enough but i am so bored I was just watching a video about Kendall Jenner being pick me for like five minutes straight. I literally cried. Whatever was in that video, I'm like literally dying. I wonder if it's the lateness of the hour that makes me... Yeah, it's almost 12 o'clock. And why aren't you sleeping? <laughs> that I still need to go to office like one more day. It's absolutely kidding me. <laughs> to put a lipstick on. When I see this lipstick in isolation without my face attached to it, I think it looks pretty cool. But when I look at my entire face, it looks very unnatural. I had an idea for a digital painting. I put like an internal deadline for that painting to be completed and what? It couldn't do it. I probably could because it's art. Just produce something. I'm a believer that if you are an artist, you proclaim yourself as an artist and I have proclaimed myself as an artist, then anything that I produce is a work of art. Sorry, not sorry. Even if it's shitty, even if it's not beautiful, 
it does not matter. It's a work of art. Why? Because an artist made it. That's how my brain works. But I need to assign a status of art to that piece to be called an art because I'm an artist. Uh, this piece I produced is a work of art. This one is garbage. It's up to me to decide. I have created a lot of works that maybe not that much of an effort, but I like them. So I call them art. Let me show you. Let me show. It was a rainy day. I was walking on subway and because it's New York City, the rain migrated to the station. So if you got some rain on the station, it's not a direct rain, it's dripping down from like the sides, from the ceiling, but it's raining. It's a subway station and it will be raining. And it's called if it rains outside, it rains inside. Mm -hmm. 